are such an asshole. Asshole Consulting. Hi, kids. All right, we're going to do one more. I said I wasn't going to do it, but we're going to do one more because I'm already here. It's rendering. We get the shit out of save time. It's all about saving time. Condensing. I have this theory. Well, it's not a theory. It's a law that time can actually be warped through economics, through efficiency and non-procrastination. And a little bit more succinct and practical than that, but kind of a, and I wouldn't say it's warping time, but it is condensing time the only way humans can. And you extend your, your life expectancy in a certain way, but one of these days, I am going to write an economics book on time, but that would take a lot of thinking and harsh thought, and um, I don't feel like doing that right now, especially after the quarter from hell that I just had. Good hell, but hell nonetheless. Hi, Aaron. I would like to remain anonymous. I am 29 years old, single, and female. I am a math instructor at a university, and this is my second year at this position. I was wondering if you have any suggestions for side hustles I can do since I only teach nine months full-time and three months part-time over the summer. I have ample free time throughout the year. Uh, three Christmas break. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> it's tough being a teacher, isn't it? Uh, I don't have that many hobbies or skills except maybe painting, creative writing, and technical writing. Please provide a quote. I would like a video response. Thank you. And so um, I asked her, I said, okay, your mathematics, uh, so there are related skills or tangential skills that either you could do outright or you would certainly have the ability to do such as programming, modeling, actuary, slash statistics, data, science. Uh, that's a big one now. Um, and then I also said, well, by chance, are you hot? You know, because like, if you're hot and you're a female, you can write your own ticket. I, I'm not joking. Like, you just do a YouTube video, get the little Bustier thing with the, the what do they call it? Not Bustier. What do they got between the boobs? Cleavage. That's what they call it nowadays, cleavage. I'm losing it. Um, boost up the cleavage there. And then, like, you teach calculus and not one guy learns a damn thing because he's not paying attention. But that will get you traffic. Um, but then you send me a picture and, yeah, you're not you're not Model S quality. I'm not a lot. Yo, Aaron, you're such an idiot. You're not a model. You're just not a model. Um, you're not hideous either. I mean, you just, you're not going to, it's not that. You, didn't, you, you don't have that naughty look. That's what it really is. The guy wants the girl looking at you like you're a piece of meat. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Derivatives, what? The X then and then goes to the coefficient? Ah, fuck up. Whatever, sure. Um, uh, da, 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 da. And she says, I can do some programming, and I like statistics, but not a huge fan of either of them. And laugh all loud, you can decide I think I'm average. I'm a you're a little you're you're not average, you're you're above average. You're like a six, six and a half. Um it, it's just that look. The hot teacher, the ones that like rape the boys, but the boys are like willingly because the, the teachers are all hot. It's like and then we're like, how the fuck where are those? Where are these teachers? What in hell's name? We got these we had school marms. We had, we had marms. We had school marms. And they were old, and they were pissed off, and they were bitter, and, and, and they were already spinsters. I, th I don't even think any of them were in their 30s or 40s yet, but God by mighty, and now they are. That's assuming they haven't put bullets in their heads, because who wants that existence? Anyway, I'm just thinking naughty teachers now. All right. Uh... <laughs> Do, 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 and you pay. All right, here's the deal. If, if uh, Those are hobbies that you have, and there's nothing wrong with, with doing that. Um, and there's nothing wrong, as long as it doesn't cost you money, like um, creative writing. Dude, write a book. See, who knew? Who knew? You know? You never know. I had no clue I'd be an outstanding ballroom dance instructor. I had no idea I'd be an author. None. What prompted me to write my first book was I was so pissed off at bankers and I had all the time in the world sitting on my ass with because bankers are like that's how they sound if you want they sound like retarded geese that's what bankers sound like um but you know give it a shot who knows you could be the next JK Rowling you know it, it's so don't I, I don't I don't want people wasting their time on stupid shit like, yeah, I'm gonna start a band sure you are Skippy but Mm, not bad. And if you got technical writing skills, you, you list here. Okay. Painting, I don't know. Put a painting up over at the local uh, coffee shop. See if it sells. You know. In, in other words, throw a couple lines in the water. Don't expect anything. Uh, experiment now. And, it'd be, and the reason why I say it, it would be better that you get paid to do something you enjoy. 
on the off chance you have this knack or this skill and people really like it, you never, you could even start a YouTube channel, just do some real basic, and it could be, for once, guys aren't interested in boobies and you're just a damn good teacher. Uh, there was that Korean guy, I think he's a tutor and he's paid millions of dollars, maybe it was a woman, maybe it was a woman. Somebody in Korea is paid millions of dollars because they are really good at teaching math and the parents pay gobs of money to have their kids be tutored under this person. So you could have that thing. So, and it's not gonna cost you anything except time. All right, so try that. That being said, and being a bit more realistically, you're gonna need other skills that are in demand. And what I would do is I would play off of your uh, mathematical, STEM, and logical uh, strengths, and probably look into what I listed there before. Programming, data science, maybe actuaries, I think, and, and, you know, I, and yeah, you don't like it. Well, nobody likes it. So what? You're looking for extra money. Actuaries make damn good money. You obviously have the math and the, the brain for that. Um, programming, I think there'd be a little bit more room for creativity, although you'd have to learn a little bit more. Um, modeling is the two combined if you want to program some financial models, although I don't know. Then you got to work in finance, and I don't know how exciting or rewarding that would be. Um... And then data science, maybe take a look at that. Microsoft has a certification program that you might enjoy. You know, and, and, and just like you experimenting with your hobbies, you're going to have to experiment with this. You're going to have to look into statistics and figure out, oh, is actuarial science anything interesting? Do I enjoy programming? Um, it, or not even enjoys the wrong, do I have a penchant for it? Do I have a proficiency for it? And, you know, and then if you think, well, I... I can do this, it's not that bad. Well, then you start programming apps or uh, you become a data scientist. Uh, but what you're really doing, I mean, <clears throat> you're taking your current position and you're you're creating a, a, another potential career out of it. Um, what I would say uh, would make the most sense is something more part-time. Like if you're gonna be, if you're gonna go to an actuarial of science, that's kind of a full-time thing. Um, programming you could do part time easily. Uh, data science I think that's that's a little lends, lends itself a little bit more to a consulting or part time role. Um, and what was the other modeling? You know, th then again you're you're pigeonholing yourself to another a completely different full time career. Um, otherwise, then you're gonna bar that. You know, I'm trying to take something that'd be easy for you and and you could do rather quickly, you're going to have to start from ground up on something completely different and new, uh, which means it's not going to be this year or next year, even maybe the year after that. It's going to be a couple of years from now until you become proficient and hireable and you can start commanding a wage. So I think the, the most uh, expeditious route is something in those realms related to math, programming, actuary, uh, modeling, and data science. I think those would be the world, the, the place to go. And But here's the thing, man. If it's just to make money, that go do it. But if you're looking for something like to have fun with, don't don't start another career to have fun. That go meet up groups, go ballroom dance, go hike, go do something. Um, you know. But if if it's to make money, yeah, you got the raw math skill. It's what do you want to parlay that into? That's going to command you the most money and, and be conducive to your current job right now. So and you got the time. I mean, if you're if you got three months off and. Um, you, know, you got time at night, and you're saying you don't have kids. So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be fun, but learning how to program X, Y, or Z, or taking that Microsoft uh, data science thing would, would certainly be a, a wise use of your time. And you could start to, start to, I was, I, I'm going to stay stand by it. I was like, oh, you should say that. Well, yeah, you're going to start prostituting yourself out because that's all we do. You give up your time to get paid money. Everybody's a prostitute. Everyone's a prostitute. Embrace the prostitution. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, asshole consulting. See you guys later. Toodles.